Self-Observation, The Awakening of Conscious, an Owner's Manual, Red Hawk. Prologue, The Teaching. It is as old as the stones. It came with humans to the earth, and it offers them a way out of the web of sorrows, but at a price. We must observe ourselves, our behavior, our inner and outer responses objectively. This means without taking a personal interest or doing anything about the horror which self-observation uncovers. Like a bad boy with a stick overturning a stone and finding a mass of crawling things beneath, but he refrains from stomping on them. Red Hawk, The Way of Power Page 67. Chapter 1. Self-observation. Know thyself. Knowing others is wisdom. Knowing the self is enlightenment. Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching, Sutra 33. Know thyself, weary traveler. I am lost. I have forgotten who I am and why I came here. Know thyself is one of the foundational spiritual teachings of humanity. It has been taught by masters as long as there have been humans as we know them, that is, with a neocortex or human brain. It was written over the gate of Pythagoras's school. It was above the entrance to the oracle at Delphi. Socrates taught it to his students. Krishna, Buddha, Lao Tzu, Jesus, Rama, they all taught it on the path of awakening. This teaching is fundamental. And the essential tool to know thyself is simple self-observation. Buddha calls it watching. Krishna calls it meditation. Jesus calls it witnessing. Mr. Gurdjieff calls it self-observation. It is a form of prayer without words. It is meditation in action. Unless and until I become, unless and until I come to know thyself, I am driven by habits which I do not see and over which I have no control. I am a machine, an automation, a robot moving in circles constantly repeating myself. I am not aware, but unconscious, habitual, mechanical. I imagine I am conscious, awake, aware, because my eyes are open. But habit is unconscious, autopilot, without volition or intention. Inside, I am asleep. What is more, because I am unconscious, a creature of habit, I do harm to myself, my relationships, and my environment. The human body is mammal. All mammals are creatures of habit. We are herd animals. This is a very powerful force in the body, impossible to ignore. It causes me to lose the thread of who I am, equals attention, consciousness and identify myself as the body. So powerful is the need to identify with and be included as part of the herd. Herd animals do not think of themselves. The herd thinks for them and acts for them. Whatever direction the herd goes in, we go in. Even if we are led over a cliff, we will follow to our death rather than go against the herd and think of ourselves. To think for myself, to know myself, risks being expelled from the herd, a death sentence for a mammal. 
Security is the herd. An isolated grazer away from the herd is dead meat, easy prey for predators. Deep in our instinct, all of us know this and fear being isolated from the herd. So to get a mammal to think for herself, to observe herself, to know herself is very difficult. It is not natural to mammal behavior. It requires conscious effort and intent. It requires courage and will of attention. As far as I can tell, humans are the only mammals who have the capacity of observing themselves. <laughs>